What up, this is July. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do 808 slides. So we're gonna start with the NNXT. So this is a blank NNXT. I put a soft tube saturation knob on it. I believe it's free, the VST version or the rack extension version, either one is free. So I'm gonna start with the 808, the original spins 808. And it sounds like this. Without my effects, it sounds like this. All right, so if you notice, if you press two keys on the while you're playing the NNXT, it'll just play both of them at the same time, and that's not how you want it to slide because it's not a slide. So what you want to do is go to this key poly, bring it down to one. That way you can only play one key at a time. It's monophonic, no longer polyphonic. So after that, you're going to go group mono just so that it cuts off next you're gonna click on this play mode turn it into legato that way this portamento will work and portamento is mangleable by taste so you can move it up as much as you want according to the song you're working on now sliding that's a slide so if you want to program that, here's a, a basic 808 uh, pattern. So that's the pattern. So I'm going to start programming my slides. Make it longer. Bring this up to a B. And then. So you have as much freedom um, as you would like to have. It's definitely not like any other DAW. It definitely needs work, but that's how you do it in reason. Um, Another key that you need to make sure of is that your main pattern is side by side. Also, if your 808 is too short, um, the glide won't work. So for example, with this note right here, if I wanted it to glide over here, it would only re-trigger there rather than glide. Because in this case, the audio or the 808 is too short and it didn't last that long. So instead of sliding, like I said, it just re-triggered. So that's how you do 808 slides. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see next. Thanks, guys.